video. It's like uh, it's like 1 a.m. It's May 30th. Just chilling, man. It's a unusual, unusual Saturday night. Uh, for once, I actually decided to stay in the crib, not do too much. I think sometimes that's good for it's good for your well-being to just catch up with your own thoughts and you know try to avoid the club. It's ironic because I feel like everybody that I know, almost almost all my friends, they work you know normal nine to five corporate gigs, and you know they they see Memorial Day weekend as com almost like the time for them to let loose and be free and and kind of do what. Uh, my lifestyle entails almost three, 365 days out of the year. So then they start hitting me up like, man, what clubs are popping? What's going on? You coming out? And now all of a sudden everybody wants to get active and be social. But I don't know, man. Today just wasn't one of those days. Like, I don't know. I had a nice, cool family day. I saw a lot of my family today. It was really, really good. A lot of cousins. And, you know, I always see my parents, my sisters in, in town. So... We all kind of converged at, at my mom and dad's house, you know. Just, you know, I saw um, my best friend Brad, who actually passed away. I saw his mother today. Um, it's always good catching up with her. It's my godmother. Um, yeah, it was, it was a nice, nice, cool family day. It's, it's all winding down right now, but I ate so much barbecue, I had to take a nap. But. You know, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of winding down. I'm using this holiday to do the exact opposite. I'm using this holiday to kind of just chill, reflect, catch my thoughts. Um, I've been trying to just find myself in terms of, uh, you know, a direction that I want to take with the new, with the new music that, that we're going to put out. Um, I think sometimes, we as artists, we create and we create and we create and we're always in the studio, but um, sometimes you got to go and just live life and let life come to you and then let the art um, be inspired from life. And so that's kind of what I'm doing right now is just kind of getting back to just chilling and just being me and, and handling a lot of the business that I've neglected just me as an individual. I feel like sometimes I neglect the whole idea of being a son, uh, the whole idea of being a brother or a friend, and I'm solely just always thinking money and thinking business and thinking, what's the next single, what's the next mixtape, it's like, we in the music industry often get caught up doing that, so, you know, and what's the next beat, and how does that verse sound, is that bridge okay, is, is that chorus too long, is that verse too, too whatever, so, you know, right now I'm just... I'm kind of just trying to rest up. The second leg of the crowd control tour is coming up. Um, starting off in Westchester, PA on um, Tuesday. Tuesday, the first show is on Tuesday. Um, of course, if you check out our site, BrainyXSociety.com, of course, you would already know because the dates are already on the site. We posted them a while back. So I hope to see all of you guys out. We're going to make our run from the East Coast all the way to the Midwest. And I'm going to end back in Chicago because, you know, it's only fitting, it's only right. And I'm super excited about Lollapalooza um, August 6th. We, we got added to that bill. I'm sure I said it before, but I'm super excited. We're pulling out all the stops for this show. Come out. Buy your tickets now. It's going to be popping, uh, you know, more than just us. You know, there's reason, you know... To come to this festival, you know, it's a three-day thing of nothing, nothing but non-stop music, quality music at that. It's like a musical gumbo. But, you know, for us hip-hop, soul, R&B people, you got Eric Badu, you got B.O.B., you got Kids in the Hall, you got J. Cole. So, just to name a few. Raphael Sadiq, I heard, is also on the bill. So, I'm actually super excited about that. Because if you read any interview I've ever had, he's actually the only person that I want to collaborate with, like, really bad that I haven't been able to. That I think is actually pretty realistic. You know, everybody will mention people 
that are kind of out of their league. Like, you know, I wish I could collaborate with Stevie Wonder or whatever, but like, this is actually realistic. Like, I could foresee myself actually making some really dope stuff with Raphael Sadiq. That's neither here nor there. Um, you know, I'm logging in. Feel free if you want to talk to me. Hit me up at BrainyXSociety at gmail.com. Um, yeah, man, I just, I think I'm, a, I'm about to get a quick workout in before I go to bed. Maybe watch a little bit more TV, catch a movie or something. You know, it's one of the greatest inventions ever. This Pepsi Zero stuff, man, it tastes just like the real thing. So, happy Memorial Day to all. And from BrainyXSociety.com, me and I was born good night. You know, I didn't really have much else to do, so I just felt like vlogging and talking to you guys. So I'm going to holler at y'all later.